Well, I first would say, James, it's an, indeed an issue which we have been looking um, at since 2015. I mean, we meaning the European Union uh, more generally. And um, there's a task force in the European External Action Service uh, dealing with this issue since uh, since 2015. They've so far um, found 5,000 uh, pieces of evidence, if you want, or narratives of disinformation coming from so-called pro-Kremlin um, sources. It's important if you don't say Russian, because uh, it's not Russia as such behind it, it's what we call pro Kremlin sources. Um, and what's important is to not only to find it, but also to uh, what we call exposure, so to put it online and to tell people about it. Um, so that then again, uh, fact checkers and journalists can actually report on it, so that people know about uh, the issue. Uh, so as I said, 5,000 um, examples are online. Uh, there's a, a website which is called EU versus Disinfo. Um, and there users can go and, and search the, the database. Um, but there's also um, like a newsletter and analysis which is shared regularly every week. Basically, you get a disinfo review. You can uh, subscribe to this so that you keep um, keep up to date with the developments. I, I think it's, uh, it's very interesting. Um, and there's also like uh, for example for the European election, there's a particular uh, web page on that website uh, where information on the European election is shared. There's also um, graphs. Uh, the social media channels uh, from EU versus disinfo. So we we try the colleagues try to spread the information. Um, but of course, there's more which can be done and which has to be done and which we also we also be doing. Um, we uh, have the European Union as a whole has set up an action plan against disinformation in December last year, in December 2018, which was also endorsed by uh, all heads of state or government at the European Council of December. Um, and uh, there are several pillars under this action plan. One I already described as a task force, but there's also work we do directly with the platforms um, on the so-called code of practice. So the platforms subscribe to this. Uh, there are several commitments they've taken to uh, not only fight trolls and bots, but this is one of the commitments, but also, for example, to highlight um, political adverts, to highlight issue-based ads in, ahead of elections, to uh, work with fact-checkers, the research community, and so on. So it's just a long list of commitments they have uh, agree to. And uh, since uh, January, we have like monthly updates from the platforms. Google, Facebook, Twitter, they send us every month uh, their reports. Uh, we then assess them and we give uh, an assessment and uh, also like a public statement, if you want, um, with our assessment. And we also publish the reports. So it's not only our reaction, but also the reports as such. So everybody can go there and see. We had the last one just recently. Uh, so it's uh, then after the elections, we will have another update. So we really keep on looking um, very closely what, what the platforms are doing under the code. And there will also be a review after one year. The code the code came into force in October last year. So you see like there are several strands. There is, uh, if I may uh, add quickly, there's uh, more, two more. One is uh, raising uh, media literacy and awareness for the problem. So there's uh, like an outreach we're doing. We also work with independent fact checkers. We had a media literacy week because it's important that people understand the problem and what they can do about it. Mm -hmm. And um, last but not least, it's also important to, to connect. Um, so we have created a so-called rapid alert system between the EU and the member states where people are connected from each member state. We have like someone connected or several people connected and where information is shared about this information and where analysis is shared so that people, let's say, um, have like a common space where they can exchange, but also like reach a common understanding of the problem and of the solutions to it.